lane where it either may get a one point lead already. Into the draft we go. There's the Gushan ban by Obs Game. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to give it some pain. I think it is one of the better players out there for uh, as far as the Gushan goes. They're joined just like the last game. And this time they will have the first pick. So um, that is Aether main actually identifying that they can give away the Lancelot themselves to the other team. But they're banning out as well as the Fanny. They're so, really banning out the Fanny of this Zap. No, they don't want any Fanny. But. Mind game again. Are you gonna get the Hellcard or are you gonna get the Cho? Or are you gonna give the Cho to Yelly Haze again? Or any text for Yelly Haze? Yeah. Mind game, okay. but prioritize guess, here still. Yeah, it's very much, it's pretty scary still to give the Hellcard to, to Zero uh, deaths for Haze, indeed. Okay, so now they will go for the Grok this time. They're actually thinking about it. Maybe they're considering either the Cho or the Grok. Anything is good, to be honest. Because uh, I think that the, for the for the most part of this tournament, the Grok has been the top tier tank out there. It, it speeds up your tempo as a team. It can go online much faster as compared to any other tanks. It can team fight much uh, earlier as compared to other teams. And of course, it is very tanky. It does have a big power spike come. A 7 minute mark, somewhere around there. It's that to be tanky. It's still to show the damage. Let's see if Gobs Gaming will consider getting either the Cho or the Akai or both of them. Because both of those are really scary if you give that to Aetherman. And indeed, they will oh. indeed they will get both of them. Just like I said. Yes, they really have to steal this show from away from Yelly Hayes. But let's see what will be the answer from Yelly Hayes on that. I know is uh, Yelly Hayes is actually a tank main idol. <laughs> I idolize myself. Yeah. Kagura as well as the Alpha will be the choice for Aether main this time. A right. uh, little bit of lockdown. Uh, as far as Alpha is concerned, it does have a very strong uh, potential to take objectives like Turtle, for example, and the Lore because it can stay in the pit, in the you know, in the place where the Turtle as well as the Lord comes from. That is, you know, that is. The reason why teams are actually considering taking the alpha for themselves is the... Ooh, are they really gonna consider this? Yes, and I think Yelly Hayes though, I think he picked it for UG, so I think the Garok will be used later on by Yelly Hayes. They will be swapping around. Um, we have here a marksman pick, surprisingly, Leslie on the side of OBS Gaming. I mean, OBS Gaming, in the oh. brink of getting taken down to the lower bracket, they're gonna rely on the Marksman. Is Aether Main gonna match this with something like a Hanabi or something? But I don't. That I think they need one more tag in their side. I don't know. Oh. No, no, they will shift it. They will go back to their roots, guys. Aurora, they're is... just hyping it up. They're going back to the Aurora. They were Jason the only Pink. team. They were the only team to employ this in the group stages. Yep, yep, they were yep. successful with it. And it's going to be exciting if it will be successful in this particular match yeah, as but well. Yeah, do take note, two may just set up for um, either main. So very squishy targets. But will they get this online? Yeah. Probably Ops Gaming would want to make, it this up, make this game up to the late game. Because we know Marksman don't really shine me, uh, early to mid game. I agree. This is very interesting. So... The thing why Ops, why Aether main drafts the Aurora is because it does have a ton of control. Mm -hmm. They play it, it is a mage, but they kind of play it like a support. A support that doesn't heal, but a support that is an offensive type of support. Yeah. Constantly locking down, slowing down enemies and locking them down. And it provides a lot of team fight at the start, a lot of pickup as well, a lot of skirmish potential. But it does fall off as the last third stages of the game slow so i think for Aether main the key is to finish this game as soon as possible yes. don't let the leslie be online yes and the leslie is gonna go online by mid to late game and it's a battle of strategy um by the way going back to the aurora pick on yep. the side of uh either main we saw this you know very i think it was the same thing that picked the uh, either either i mean um, the aurora as well so yeah it, it, it was uh, pretty much 
I have a good memory of Aether Main. I think it was also yeah. Aether Main, and they were able to execute it properly. I, yeah, I, th I think at least three times in the regulars, in the regular season, they were able to use it, experimented with it. Most importantly, they were able to uh, uh, be only much, fa much faster as their opponents. But let's see if that will be the case. Game number two, Aether Main on the lead. Let's see if Ops Gaming can even this game out, guys. Even this game out, guys. This is the Mobile Legends back by Professional League. We are casters. My name is Wolf. I'm with Guy Saya. And yes, they really have to protect the Aurora in here. The Aurora cannot fit, especially he, she is not a mobile hero at all. Very slow, uh, you know, mobility for the Aurora. Probably the Aurora will be always partnered or, you know, okay. backed up by an Alpha or, you know, probably the Aurora will be always partnered or you know, okay. backed up by an alpha or, you know, another tank. Yeah. Oof. It's very interesting. As, uh, again, I think this will be a slower game as as far as Ops Gaming is concerned. If they want to play this game, they want to play it slower. But I think they want to play it faster. And it seems like they are already contesting the farm of this, uh, of this part that's coming up from me for me. Yes, but well, we didn't... Me for me. Yes, but we didn't see any, you know, invades yet, but looks like a fight is ongoing here near the crab area. Looks like Yuji would want to get this crab. Are they going to yeah. give it to Yuji or will they Just give it, it to Hobbs Gaming? Oh. Fortunately, oh. it went to Yuji, though. All right, now, on to the bottom, though. Aurora being taken out. I remember, self Hobbs Gaming. That is a pretty nice dog. Again, the, the thing with Aurora is very slow. Not really maneuverable around the map. Of course, it's quite squishy at the start, but they will go out to zap to the darkness already popped, but they will take out the hooker. This time, they will go for more. The L is low. He will be taken out. Even Kolo participating in the fight. He's not going to get any assist out of that. Wow, Maybe even land skills. Wow, snowball early on by either main. Come on, Ops Gaming has to stop this already. Or probably they really have to make it up to the late game. But here we go. A wall being thrown by Yelly Hayes right over there. However, no commit will happen. No commit on just hit. But the turtle, of course, being taken out by Aethermy. Being started by Aethermy. Ops Gaming, let's see if they will try to contest this one. Once again, the Alpha is here. It's one of the better heroes out there to take out objectives. It's quite sustainable. So it shows a lot of damage. The end is in here. Trying to contest this one. It's quite separate from his teams, but in comes Pac-Man as well being locked down very low. He's taking up. What a snipe by Aethermane. And the end is going to be next. That is the showdown for the count. Zabnu is in the middle of everyone. He gets away very speedy. That was quite close. But, but, Aethermane still wins that skirmish. Well, here Jeff, for Cu Jeff Cutie Forever with the Leslie is just farming around, solo laning the top lane over there but i wonder is that enough because currently either maybe snowball oh, no, no. Time. no he gets away he gets away but he's still being chased down he don't have the damage yet oh, has yeah, to back yeah. away yeah oh, he oh, misses that good. one pain can you run away from the members of Ops Gaming? From uh, both the show, no, he won't be able to do so. Now Coco is in trouble. Look at the damage from Zapdo. He has to get out right now. But all the while that's happening, the turret already taken out yes. in the mid lane. Right over in the middle lane of Ops Gaming, but still the Leslie is all alone. Busy. I wonder though why either main is letting that, uh, you know, Leslie farm all alone in his lane. Oh. But wow, they were able to stab on the Helker down. They will go for Dian. What a wall by the Grunk. They stab on Dian and there's a double coming out from the Alpha. Aether Maid fights two more and they might even try to defend their top. Unfortunately, will not be able to do so. And there's go there you go. One objective for Ops Gaming right over there on the top lane. But, you know, we can see here, while Aether Maid is actually snowballing as a team, we can see Leslie snowballing individually for Ops Gaming as well. But is that a good thing? Will she be able, uh, will she be protected properly by the tanks of Ops Gaming with this uh, Cho and the Akai, given that, they, you know, they're losing fights at the moment? Yeah, they are losing the fight right now, not only by heroes, by hero kills, but also by objectives and by economy. Just look at the farm that Aethermane does have right now. 13k as compared to 10k of Ops Gaming. And for, at, at the 4 minute mark, that's actually a lot. That's, that's a lot.
lot indeed. And the turtle is online right now. It looks like there will be an early contest. But either main at the same time, the Kagura looks like will be trying to zone out. I, I know, Ops Gaming knows this. Ops Gaming knows this. But the question, will they, Trust Gaming knows this. But the question, will they try to contest? It's risky. It's it is risky. very risky. They already, they already used the ultimate from Zabnu. Neither main kind identified that one as, look at this, just paint. Kind identified that one as, look at this, just paint. You're singing the Mortal Kombat to zone them out. The end being caught. There's the laptop from the Aurora, but the turtle was slain by the Grok nonetheless. Now the end is quite in trouble with the control coming out from Peter May, and that's a showdown for the count. Get haste. They're still chasing for more. Yolo on the other side also gets away. At least they do separate, and Aether Main will not get more out of that. But the turtle has been taken along oh, with a kill on the end. It seems he's in a bad position, oh, being cornered no. by the members oh, of Peter no. May. Get up. Jeffrey King, no. Force the flanker out, will that be enough? Dashing the out is still. He's still chasing him. Yelis is here, the miss from Goku, but it doesn't matter. The drop will finish him off, but down on a Rebo. Actually, as along with the Kagura taken out by the members of Ops Gaming, so as far as trades go, I think Ops Gaming are really happy with what happened. Oh, nice hat trick right there. Oh, wow. By the Hardy. Where is this game going so far? 0-1, zero, 0 for the Leslie. Although he, oh, she has good fun. Oh, no, the jumping from Zabdo. Oh. That's quite bad. He didn't know. He didn't know the two members of Aether Main were there. And he committed the dash in. Was taken out immediately afterwards. My goodness. This is bad for Ops Gaming. Yeah, this is bad for Ops Gaming. You wouldn't want to go to the lower bracket. It's quite a, you know, challenge there. But going back to what is happening right now, 38 seconds from now, level 1 Lord is going to go up soon. Leslie roaming around, quite a dangerous move. Yelly Hayes is roaming, warding as well on that particular area, trying, probably trying to find where is this uh, Leslie. We have to, you know, try to not get her, her online. But yeah, if just I mean this is just way too classic for Aether Main. All members, all the cores separated from one lane to another, just making sure that they get the most farm out of the map and then transition into the jungle Lord and then transition soon. into taking turrets. And now the Lord is resurrecting soon. Oh, oh what an Ashura Aura collecting on the turn the damage! Way too much! They take out two triple kill even for the Martis! Aether Main! They can find more Coco though. Might be the exchange, but he's still fighting. He's just slicing through it all. Tried to bam it up. He's just maneuvering. What a play, Coco! Even gets the one. Might even get the two. Outplaying the members of Ops Gaming. Coco, what a beast. And he's not done. He's trying to take down the on the top of it. The double. Coco, it's a wipeout. This might be over for that Ops Gaming. Seems it's like the answer to... is no. It's at least it's hard. It's hard. It's so hard indeed. The euphemism is that it is hard. It is a challenge. Love's gaming. It is evident in the state of the game that they are behind. I'm not saying but, just behind, they're behind by a know, lot. You know what? Either main really likes brush gaming, wherein they could throw at the proper sequence of yeah. their skills. Exactly. They don't have to throw it all right away. But you saw that a while ago near the top area of the map, wherein they, you know, they, they got the members of Ops Gaming, allowing them to win the fight. Exactly. Now, the end. Try to be a pesky chop. Yo, last week chops it. The damage is gonna be so much for Aether Main. They take already one. The Lord will be slain by the Harley, though. At least that's good for Ops Gaming. But they can't they find more. They're trying to chase Zabdu, but Zabdu's already out back. Ben might be the only cash for the Yelly Hayes. Trying to control the two members. That's true. Aura connects on to two back Ben. He's gonna drop in away from Bane, but Bane is hot on his heels. He's gonna chase him down. And that is gonna be the Martis with the unstoppable streak. Jeff getting with whatever will get out, but the end will not be able to do so. As Aether Main. Finds three members of Ops Gaming. Ops Gaming might have found the kill onto oh, the Lord, but it's not gonna be onto anything. The backup of this Akai, the Leslie was able to flicker out. Well, that is happening.
happening though in the top lane our Helgert on the side of Ops Gaming is trying to do a split push this Zapner though looks like he will be cornered anytime soon will he be able to teleport out in the Zapna is getting caught. Now they are going to go for the wall. What a wall by Yelly Hayes. And he take out Zapnu just like that. And wow. that's the Lord as well. Oh, oh you can no. see how. Look at that. 4 0 10 4 0 Yelly 10 Rebo by Bex. No, that's the help. This is not stay. Rebo survives for a while. Stop places out the Yolo. And Yolo will be traded out. That is a monster kill. 20 to 5. Aether main total domination of the game. Oh, you know what? When I play Mobile Legends rank game, and usually people would ki uh, pick up a marksman. If oh. for a tank, I would want Yelly Hayes to be my tank. Yeah, I, mean, I agree with you. I mean, Yelly Hayes has been the. I mean, the, the, I can't even describe him. So speechless. He's been the rock, literally and figuratively, of Aether Main in this game. The rock is just doing so much for his team. We gotta have to commend the other members as well, like Payne, for example, knowing how to, with the Azure Aura connections, always connecting on two to three targets. And that alone speaks here, up to a lot. Though, in the itemization, though, their focus on the will give them speed. The jump in from Coco wants to go on to YOLO. Try to force the ultimate out of that Akai, but will not be able to do so. Jeff getting forever with the pop shots. It's not gonna be enough at all. For Major oh man, this yeah, time they're putting so much pressure now in the inhibitor turret of Ops Oh Gaming. no, oh pain. It's actually being caught here. The so, receiving so much damage, but Yeni Ace is here to help him out. The mid lane turret though destroyed. is gonna be taken out. Ian in a bad spot, but pain is gonna be punished. There is the shutdown onto the mark. This finally for Ops Gaming. Yeni Ace might be next though. He has to run away as he's very low right now. But he's just making sure that the members of Aether Main will have a complete back down by boxing out the members of Ops Gaming. Wow. Members of Ops Gaming. Wow, one inhibitor turret left for Ops Gaming. And we are just at 11 minute game time. When will this, uh, you know, comparing to the levels that either Mena has, level 14 Kagura, level 13 Martis, and level 14 Alpha, compared to the carry, the main carry of Ops Gaming, which is the Leslie, is still at par and 0 2 1 score. It, it's not giving her a lot that yet. And Coco just standing by inside the base of Ops Gaming, not yeah, minding that, it. That's how strong he is, but might be punished. He's going up against free once again, and he's taking through it. Oh, he might even turn this out. The damage is just way too much. Kagura finishes off the two, and that is the Helker down as well. Three members down. Jeff Beauty forever being chased down by Yuji, but the members of Aether made. They will not focus the core, even though they have the opening. They want to finish it off all in style. Aurora is down, but in exchange is the Leslie. Only the Harley remains, and they remain. Are they going to go and do it? They are going to go and finish this up oh, with a classic. Oh, my again. goodness. They're not yet focused, firing in the base. They're letting the minions do but it. With... Oh, wipeout. And this is pretty much over. The trip to Jerusalem, Yolo with the jump in with the ultimate. I don't think that this will amount to anything. There's the car. Uh, Aether May to the finals. Wow. 2 0 score. What do you think? Was that a wrong decision that uh, Ops Gaming picked up a marksman? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they tried with the Hanabi in the Guru uh -huh. season. And I think they had Charles to try with the Roger. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the Roger, but I'm pretty sure about the Hanabi they tried it. We're successful with it, but this time they will not be able to do so. Yeah, but don't lose hope, Ops Gaming fans, because Ops Gaming will still have a match later on at the round four in the lower bracket. So